guys, it's JJ Cuba, and today I'm going to be comparing Ortega, CLO, and EG. In case you didn't know, those are all names for methods on the 2x2. So, I'm going to go through an overview of each one. The first one's called Ortega. This is the one I use. So basically, you first, you start off by making a side. So, it doesn't have to be laid, just the side of one colour. In this case, I'm done blue. These cars don't have to match. That's what makes it a side. Then you turn around and you solve the opposite side, which is OLL. And then you do one more algorithm to permute both layers, oops, or PBL. And that's Ortega. So with EG, which is really similar to Ortega, you you start off by making a side, so you see I've done the white side, but then you solve the rest in one algorithm. And basically, there are different types of algorithms for either when the bottom is solved. If the bottom is solved, that's CLL, and that is, yeah, so CLL is basically, the first step is actually to make a layer, so, so a layer, um, these, so you make the white side and these all have to match. And then you do one algorithm to solve the rest. These three methods are very similar in the order that you do them. So I'm going to compare some similarities. So for Ortega and EG, you start off by making just a side. Hang on, let me just do that real quick. So you start off by making a side, not necessarily a layer, but um, yeah, so you start off by making a side, which is actually a lot quicker than um, CLR, where you have to make a full layer, so these colours all have to match. So that's the similarity between Ortega and EG. One thing about uh, EG and CLR, if you know, if you know the EG method, you basically know CLL, and that's because, so once you get to the first layer, basically, when you get to the EG method and you do your side and you already have a layer, then this is a CLL algorithm, which is the same thing using CLL, because the first step in CLL is you have to make the entire layer. And then you do one algorithm to solve the rest. And yeah, Ortega and CLL are actually kind of pretty different methods. And I guess the EG method kind of just combines them together. So, yeah, so I'm going to... Alright, reasons for using each method. Ortega, which is the one I use, I recommend it if you don't want to learn a lot of algorithms. Ortega requires 12 algorithms, 7 for OLL. Hang on, let me... I'm going to scramble something to do quick solve with for OL. So, make the side. So, there are 12, I mean, there are 7 algorithms for orienting the last layer. And there are 5 algorithms for PBL. PBL will permute both layers. So, yeah, it has the least amount of algorithms for either case. Um, CL has 42 algorithms. And EG has a ridiculous number, I'll explain that later. But a downside for using Ortega it's, is it takes three steps, and Ortega and I mean CLO and EG both take two steps, and it's also the slowest usually out of these three methods. If so you use Roo, which is one of the best speed cube methods then that is a good reason for using CLL because in one of the steps in Roo, you solve all the top layer corners. So that's pretty much what you do in here. But that step is called CMLL because, because um, these algorithms, the two by two algorithms, can kind of, can swap edges. Like there are, obviously there are no edges on this cube. So like if I were to do a JPEM, it would swap two corners on the two by two, and it would swap two edges, but obviously there are no edges. So yeah, that that's kind of that's kind of what I mean by CL and CML. So if you use Roo, then CL is a good method. Um, but the main problem 
with using CLO, I'd say, is the first step requires you to make a full layer. And that is usually slower than just making one side, as for EG and Ortega. So yeah, I just made full side. But then you can solve the rest with one algorithm, which is really cool. I'm just going to do Ortega because that's all I know. Um, oh, that kind of cut kind of it. Sorry. The EG method, the reason for using it, I guess, is it is the fastest of the three, usually. And a lot of good solvers will use this method. But one downside to it is there are 65 algorithms, which is a lot. So if you don't, re so if you don't really feel like learning algorithms, I'd say use Ortega. Okay, what I think about the method. So yeah, I use Ortega because it requires the least algorithms. Because I don't really want to <laughs> learn too much algorithms, and. Like, and also another good reason for using Ortega is it's related to, actually, pretty much all of them, but actually, yeah, the OLL step is pretty much built on Proper 3 by 3 so you don't have to learn any new algorithms if you pretty much already know how to solve a 3x3 anyway. But that's just what I think. If, if you're like me and you don't really want to learn too many algorithms, then there's a just justification for using... Whoops. For using Ortega, uh, for using EG1 or EG, e, the EG method, I'm sorry, for using uh, EG, if you want to get really fast, then I would, I guess I would recommend that because it's obviously the fastest. And for CLL, obviously, um, I mean, if you're good at Roo, then I would pick CLL. If 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 I was good at Roo, then I would definitely pick CLL because it's pretty much the same thing. But that's just what I think. Alright. See you next time.